Hello and welcome. Let's do a 10 to 12 minute stretch together, including some breath work. If you have long hair, tie it up so it's not in your face. Let's start with a deep breath in. Hold for four seconds and release. And take another deep breath in. Inhale, hold four, three, two, one, and release. And now we're going to get started with activating our neck with some neck rolls. Focus on one side, maybe do 10 on one side, and then you can go ahead and switch over to the other side for 10 more. Starting off with the left side, place your forearm on your mat and stretch over your right arm, over your head. Get that nice stretch on your right side. And then flip over to the other side, do the same thing. Now we're going to go ahead and give our neck a little stretch. Place your left arm over your right ear and stretch your neck downward. Now during these stretching exercises, you want to focus on your breathing and breathe in through the nose. I like to breathe out through the nose, but if you prefer through the mouth, you can do that as well. As you see here, I'm giving my back a stretch by leaning over my left knee turning back and doing the same on the other side while taking in one to two deep breaths. Now I've placed my legs in a position where the bottom of my feet meet. Try to get your knees all the way down to the floor and lean forward. Stretch your arms, take some nice deep breaths, feel it here. Now we're going to get ready to stretch our hamstrings. Go ahead and take out one leg and lean towards your toes as much as you can. If you take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, you can push yourself to lean more forward. That will be very helpful. And repeat on the other side. And I'm just going to place myself in the center position for a few seconds to kind of refresh. Now let's get a stretch in our lower and upper back. As you breathe in, act like a cat. And as you breathe out, act like a dog. And now set your knees aside to the edge of the mat. Open up and just lay down, face down, arms out. Stretch them out as much as possible and feel that hip opening up. Now we are going to get into cobra position, but before we do that, just lay out your entire body, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, feel it all. And then when you're ready, go into cobra position with your forearms on the floor. And for a deeper stretch, bring your arms up. Be sure to take some nice deep breaths here. Thank you. 
Now we are going to get ready to get into downward dog. Tuck your toes in. Make sure your hands are nice and even at the top. And get into downward dog position. You want to keep your back straight, stick your butt up, and keep your chin tied to your chest at all times for the best stretch. And alternate with your legs doing steps as you see me doing to get a nice hamstring and calf stretch in. I'm going to lift my left leg up and straddle as far in as I can and bending my leg over to the other side to open up the hips and go straight forward into a half split and you can stretch your back here or lean forward and really feel it in your hips as well. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. Once you're ready, get yourself back into downward dog position carefully. I like to do this kick up one to two more times before moving on to the other leg. And when you're ready, go ahead and repeat the same with your right side. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. start getting yourself back into downward dog position once you feel refreshed and realigned you're going to walk up to your hands lift your arms up Take two deep breaths in here. And touch your hands with your toes to get a nice back hamstring stretch once again. And start getting back onto the floor. Stretch out your legs and your arms all the way. Now lift your right leg up and grab your calves. Try to get it as close to you as possible. And then fold your leg in. Grab your thigh inward and try opening up your leg again. You don't have to try to stretch it all the way up, but as long as you feel the burn, it's doing good. And now repeat on the other side and remember to breathe.
we're going to do another hip opening exercise. Put both feet on the mat, get your right leg over your left knee and grab your left leg as shown and bring it in. This will open up your right hip. And there's my dog. Hi, Pink. And repeat with the other side. And now you can do whatever your body feels called to do. Mine wanted me to get the long stretch in, stretching my arms all the way back and my legs all the way forward, do some weird things. And then I like to reset, deep breath in, give thanks and shake it all off. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Nothing. Right.